What's up? How you doing? Hi. Good. Really? Really what? I didn't know that. What? Who are you talking to? Um, we're having a conversation. It's not Who? about you. <laughs> That's funny. That's definitely a fake laugh. You're a fake person. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm fake. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Yeah. Because it helps the algorithm. Yep. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> and a highly, highly anticipated film. Nice. It's upside down. Silsala. Is that how you pronounce that? Silsala? Silsala? Uh, Silsala, if you read it upside down, it's Alice Liss. Good call. Yeah. Uh, the 1981 film. Remember that year? I do. Yeah. Uh, I was in my dad's ball bag. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Cold. Wow. Your dad's blue balls. Uh <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's directed by uh, the same director as the last one we just watched, Yash Chopra. Speaking of testicles and sperm, I thought it was really nice of Rihanna during the halftime show to do that number with all of the sperm that didn't get in. True. It was great. It was lovely. Yeah, and that's not my joke. Someone else said it. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> um, yes, uh, directed and uh, produced and I believe screenplay was by Yash Chopra and starring... Just a few people who have no history at all. None. Uh, Amitak Bakchan. None whatsoever. Reka, Jaya Bakchan, and also Shashi Kapoor. Yep. As well uh, in there. Um, but obviously, uh, everybody in India, I'm pretty sure has seen this film. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm almost certain of it. Me too. But uh, this will be obviously a 100% spoiler review, so if you don't watch it, we saw it on Amazon. You can see it there if you'd like. Uh, and if not, uh, get ready to be spoiled, you little spoiled little nutbags. What? Wow. The focus I got today. nuts on the brain. You do. It was because uh, Big B was sitting in the tub. That's it. <laughs> the Balls tasty out. nuts. Balls out. He clearly has a better thing going on down there than Ricky Gervais. Because if it was Ricky Gervais, they would have been ballooning to the top and probably shot down by our Air Force. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts of Silsala. Well, I just got to say, this is probably my favorite moment in the film. Hold on. I'm trying to see this. Oh, the end. <laughs> I, this guy, the dead guy, who's uh, obviously I don't know what he's is he watching Netflix? What's he doing there in the in the in the plane? <laughs> the end uh, part, yeah. So, I'm interested to know your thoughts. Uh, th this thing's a hot mess. Um, yeah, this one this one didn't didn't float my boat. The one thing that did float my boat, in both a good way and a bad way, was just the inherent drama. Part of it is intriguing. Another part of it just reminds me of how important it is for actors' private lives to remain private because that can overshadow the roles that they're playing. That was what was really always preeminent for me watching it was the behind-the-scenes stuff that I know about, that life imitating art, art imitating life. But taking that aside, I had a lot of – there were just a lot of things I had – that were problematic for me in in editing and in story and believability and uh, so yeah no this one for me wasn't anything it was it, I didn't like it no I like this film I, I enjoyed this film I you're so strange sometimes <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting from this film it's a big Bollywood romance no film, I, right I know and I've seen quite a few that yeah. that I I really enjoyed what, what were you what were you expecting then a a a, a film that because it takes itself seriously so much, mm -hmm. this isn't DDLJ. This isn't, you know, this this takes itself very seriously. Yeah. There's so many things that are just beyond the pale oh, I, of the end, believability. I, 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 the end, I definitely agree with. Yeah, you. not just at the end. The end was the cherry on the cake of a ton of stuff that just strained credulity. Uh I didn't. I didn't have a problem with any of the performances per se, as far as the acting is concerned. I just, for a film that wanted to clearly be considered a serious romantic drama, this wasn't a rom com. 
this was a a rom drum. Mm-hmm. Um, it it uh, it just had a lot of just the the basic problem I had was a lot of stuff with the story. Um, a lot of the editing was super herky jerky, and the, ultimately just the the final sequence of ridiculousness and we all live happily ever after with no rational justification for it just uh, i didn't didn't take me in and make me care well the, or make me believe what i was watching well the end uh, oh, we, but we, I do, we'll get to i am grateful for the fact i didn't know this I, I, that did you know that big b was nominated for an oscar before anybody else i mean his, his, his character was nominated for an oscar in this oh and that's yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes. And I love how such a famous guy can go unnoticed everywhere he goes, pretty much, and can have an affair that no one else picks up on. Well, I mean, it was 1980 and in India. and Right, was, no one would know who he was if also, he was nominated for an Oscar. Well, he's, yeah, but he was also just a writer, so not everybody knows who the writers are. Especially if they're nominated for an Oscar. 1981? Yeah. Yeah. People didn't don't even like they didn't even see Western films then. So why would they know an Oscar? Who didn't see Western films then? They weren't as easily accessible in India at that time. Oh, that's very true. Yeah. So I'm saying like you, hey, they wouldn't like oh he was not oh cool, but he's also just a writer. He wasn't he wasn't like a a, a face actor. No, but he was uh, he was a very renowned writer. It's like well, we have very renowned writers here in Hollywood, and the regular person can't tell you who the fuck they are. I didn't find it believable. Cool. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, the, uh, that's that. I don't see the justification there. He's a writer. Writers aren't people that, unless you've also a director or a or a, an actor, um, I, I that has I, been on screen. People yeah. Don't, for me, people don't know he, who you are. If he was so famous that he was nominated for an Academy Award, I think he would have had a little bit more notoriety in public settings. That's me. Call me an ass. Call me an idiot. I don't care. That's yes, my idiot. My personal opinion. It's not going to change. Um, but let's talk about the uh, performances. Uh, I uh, I enjoyed all of them. Um, I really enjoyed Jaya as usual. Jaya's always so good in in every film that she's in, <laughs> and she's always so believable. Her moment when she's talking to uh, Big B, uh, not not the very end. Mm-hmm. Um, but the when she's when Big B is telling her that he loves Reka, uh, and he's going to leave her basically, right? Right. And her monologue after that, or in her whole um, re- like uh, reaction to what he's saying as well, I loved her whole performance. What do you think about Jaya? I it was it was hard to differentiate between the character of Shoba and the person of Jaya, and I I thought her performance. I, I thought everybody's performance, as far as the acting was concerned, was very good, all things considered. I didn't have a problem at all with uh, the majority of the acting. And I, I like everything we've ever seen Jaya do. She tends to be just insanely grounded and incredibly believable. And uh, But the, 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 the primary thing that I just couldn't get out of my head, and it, at one point, man, that moment where Shoba and Chandni... Are back to back. Yeah, great shot, by the way. And the she's saying, "Leave my husband alone." Mm-hmm. That was hard for me to watch. You know, she accepted the film, though, right? Like, oh, so. yeah. It doesn't change the reality of what actually goes on in relationship with these three. That's true, but that's not what. That's not. This film, you, you can't judge this film off of their past. They all agreed to this film. Well, they did, but you realize that the box office judged them according to their past. Nobody wanted to see them when this movie came out. Okay. They didn't want to see Big B in this kind of a role, and a lot of people had a problem with the three of them playing these roles based on th- what everybody knew was going on behind the scenes. I, I'm judging the film off of the film, not what I am too, but, it's, but that's my point, is there are times when a actor's personal life overshadows the life of their characters. But yeah, but we're here to review the movie, not... not I, this right. is... Jaya is... I'm a top husband. Right. She agreed to this. Right. In fact, she came out of retirement for right. this because he decided to do a film with Reka. Right. And she decided based off of the ending is basically why she essentially decided to do the film. And she's still with Amitag Bakchan. So that's their personal shit. 
I'm not going to, they, they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. She could have left him. She could have done whatever she wanted to do. Sure. I'm judging the film off of the film, not, not their so, personal oh, life. I, ultimately, I am as well. Like I told you, I didn't have a problem with the acting. Yes, but you're, you're bringing up the, the, the past and for their performances. Well, the uh, for, past for their, is the for, present when you're watching that film. There were dynamics that were going on in 1981 between those three human beings that overshadowed what was going on with the characters in that story. How did it overshadow? I thought it added. Really? Yes. Because you saw the actual tension and the, the love affair, the, the, ask, the chemistry. Sure. Ask, ask your wife how she, what she thinks about Mr. and Mrs. Smith. She never saw Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, why? She doesn't like Brad Pitt. Why? Yeah, but w see, you're missing the point. No, uh, yeah, why? You, you didn't answer the question. Why does she not want to watch that movie? Because she doesn't like them personally. We are. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You mean her personal thoughts overshadowed her thoughts about the characters in the film? Once again, you're missing it. We are reviewing the film. Not I know. Their per so if, if you, it's the same principle. If it's, you if you had a problem with that, you could have told me you didn't want to watch this film, and no, I could have reviewed the film alone. I, I I didn't have a problem with their situation so much so that I would boycott their film i'm saying that it's impossible for me to separate what was going on for them personally at the time with what's going on on screen most especially because what's going on on screen is pretty much a carbon copy in many respects of what was going on behind the scenes for the years leading up to 1981 mm -hmm. so that's that's rough especially when you're focusing on the character of 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 shoba yeah, but yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's talk about Reka because I, I really uh, also enjoyed her performance because it was she has such an intensity behind her eyes, um, and obviously, no shock, she had chemistry with Big B. Uh, but my favorite scene of hers was probably with Jaya. That that scene that you were referring to earlier when they were also I love the the direction of that scene and the cinematography of that scene. Mm -hmm. I even took a picture of it just because it was so. It felt like right when it came on the screen, I was like, that, that feels iconic. You know, it was that little... Yeah, when they the were back to back. Back to back. Uh, yeah. Stuff like that. It was absolutely incredible. And both of them during that scene, I thought, did a phenomenal job. Uh, what do you think about Rekha's performance? Oh, I, all three of them. I thought yeah. their performances were great. I found that scene to be striking. Um, I, I, again... Uh, there's no reason to say it because it's not a point of discussion is how what what um what i was able to do in terms of being fully immersed into the story um did it did for me a disservice to the story because i was not able to fully embrace with the totality of just who chadni and shoba and amit were because the 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 personal lives of amitab reka and jaya were bigger and so I don't expect everyone else to have that same feeling. If someone else can watch this and desensitize themselves to that part of it, shut that part off of it, kudos to you for being able to do that. I, I'm not able to do that. So that was the part for me that, aside from their artistry, which I thought was solid, I had a very difficult time watching what looked like a very private matter being played out publicly yes they agreed to the roles but that was for me the the disconnecting point aside from that i thought they all did very solid jobs with what they were given another person i thought did a really good job uh, was actually a uh, sanjeev yes, kumar the doctor one i liked his the writing of his character a lot actually um the actor did a very good job sanjeev uh sanjeev yeah sanjeev right? kumar is that he pronounced his name sanjeev I, I uh, hope so. who played the doctor uh the only doctor in the whole town uh, <laughs> yeah, in, in the totality of <laughs> India, it feels like. Um, but I liked how his, and uh, that's something, um, <laughs> even though I have a couple of critiques of the director in terms of, like, obviously the times, and we'll talk about the ending here in a, here in a little bit, but he he's tends to like really fast, insane endings. Uh, well, and fast, is, insane is, scene ends and scene starts. Yeah, Just, yeah. let's go to uh, end of scene to start a scene. But the, the, I'm talking specifically the end of the film. Oh, yeah, how but, to wrap it up? Yeah. yeah. Um, but the uh, his character specifically, because normally in Indian cinema, you that character would be a really possessive man, and he's um, obviously would be 
extremely jealous and obviously yeah, we would have a right to obviously and for what sure <laughs> of sitting there and watching them do their do their uh song which uh was a great song by the way um but the him and jaya basically sitting there watching them basically fornicate on the on the ground oh yeah well i <laughs> I, I, I loved when they were at dinner the four of them and there was just no hiding it want to dance yep they uh yeah they weren't hiding it at all uh but his his character was one, I feel like a very, for the time in India, very progressive and how he was like, I'm, I'm not here to hold you as a slave. I'm so, not here to- so was the very minuscule moment we get of Chandni's dad early on. Yeah. Yeah, you do as well. That was amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, this, that's one of the things that, uh, a lot of people say about Yash is that he's even though he's a big Bollywood film per, uh, maker, a lot of his stuff is a lot more progressive than normal, um, um, but big Bollywood films, yeah. essentially. Yeah, and, and when it comes to Amitabh, I, one of the things that I makes I understand it, but I don't agree with it was it's my it's my understanding that when the movie came out, one of the reasons people didn't really like it was because he had established himself as the angry young man, and this was his first delving into a love story with emotional sensitivity. I that's a shame because I've I felt where. At this time, so many people fall into cliches. He didn't, and neither did Reka or mm. Jaya. Oh, yeah. That that would be the greatest strength, I think, that comes from their performances, is that you're not going to see anything cliche in their performances. Mm-hmm. And that would be my... Bi- if someone were to ask me, what, if you could take away a positive that was your biggest one, what would it be? And I would say, it would be the acting of the three stars. Well, I think- uh, but what a surprise. We, I mean, that's not a shock that those three are... Yeah, <laughs> calling them yeah. good actors, um, and also the uh, the music in this, uh, which is not shocking. I think this is a lot of people would say this is probably one of the best Bollywood scores, scores uh, yeah. of especially of the time of classic Bollywood. I, I um, read somewhere that the holy song mm-hmm. was written by Big B's dad. I did not know. That'd be crazy. I, that's I, it's it hard a, for me to believe because that would be nepotism. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it said that on IMDb uh, when you look up the trivia on IMDb. Yeah, it said that his dad wrote that song. I don't know. You can confirm that. If you would know better than I. But the um, the I loved all the songs. I thought they were all beautiful. Very. This film oftentimes um, was very like poetic in terms oh. of what it was doing. Obviously, it, yeah. Obviously, yeah. The stuff of the, the of the time of sometimes. Obviously, people would be looking off screen and you know, sure. all that kind of stuff. But yeah. you know, it, you you have to expect that in this time of Bollywood. It's just it's just how it was done. Uh, but yeah. I also did this. This caught me off guard many times because of just. Um, Obviously, I knew the the vague storyline of this of this movie, but I was like, okay, so what's going to happen, uh, and how are they going to be in this love triangle? What's gonna, right. What's going to go on? Right. And it was super because it's a very Indian story as well. Obviously, yeah. but oh yeah, Rekha and him in this film were in love, and so you're like, okay, they're in love, and then Jaya and Shashi are in love. He dies, and then you're like, hmm. Are they going to do that thing where the, the obligation, brother, yeah, right. the obligate, but then obviously you found out she was pregnant, right? And that's his obligation really took over, right? Um, and that's that's a very Indian. I mean, I think Jai even said, or somebody, I don't know if it's Jai or if it, who else says it, but she's like, the lover is never the husband in our country or something right. like that, right? Because something. so many things are done out of either arrangement or yeah. obligation, yeah, yeah. Um, and so you, you're like, okay, I understand right. his obligation to want to do that, and but you're also like, mm, never do that because that's not fair to you, and that's not fair of to course. obviously the person, of course, because you're never going to love them as much as you're going to love the other person that you actually love, of right? Of course, yes. Um, but once again, that's why this is, film is very Indian. Yeah, uh, and there's other ways to take care of somebody other than just marrying them. Yes, yeah. but obviously, at, especially but at it's the a time, societal pressure. Yes. At the time, Jaya, at the like, time. she would have been, uh, she had a, ch- oh, a child out of wedlock. Out of wedlock. Um, and now she's a widow, ba- almost. Yeah. And so your life is basically, yeah, yeah. Uh, over at that point. Yep. And so to protect his brother's honor, to protect uh, her, who he probably grown right. to care for. Right. Um, but then obviously you grow into the situation of he probably doesn't actually love her, which is something that kind of happened in, in Lamhe as well. Of like he, in the end, he was like, I love you, I love you, I love you. 
you're like, mm, you might now if with this emotion. Yeah, you probably no, don't, right? Uh, you don't. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the many through lines that didn't run through. I, mean, I think that's one of the reasons why, because I know, obviously, this film is uh, a hit now. Mm. Um, and a bunch of people, like, love this film, especially the score of this film. Um, but the reason why they loved this film and not, like, Topeka's film of last year <laughs> with a lot of, like, the uh, cheating yeah. and stuff like that, right? But it's because he ended up with his wife in the end. And I think that's the difference. <laughs> and I think that's why people like, like, it's basically almost the same story of a bunch of infidelities going on all around. But in this one, in the Indian version, it's happy and he ends up with the wife, not the other person, which obviously doesn't happen right. in, in Dapika's. She ends up with the person she's. Oh, how's the film end? Well, I don't the, remember how the, 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 the thing about, the, I mean, of the many stark contrasts, the the plot line of of having the conflict and then the crisis and the resolution and the believability and justification for relationships being what they are throughout and in the end, mm. those two movies, there's no comparison. Oh no, just the uh, just the infidelity aspect of it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We're, we're talking about because that's the big problem everybody had with Topeka's film is yeah is infidelity. That's, yeah. this is a West film. We don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, yeah. I mean yes, uh, it's it's painful to see, but the, it's a it's it, if it's done well, you're going to see the complexities of it in a film. You know, it, I can think of. I, dozen films off the top of my head that, that portray that in a believable way and whether or not you agree with it mm. I love films that depict that and give you a level of oh, there but for the grace of God go I you know mm. um, um, I, I do want to talk about the ending because they, they, they spent a ton of money on the ending I guess <laughs> they really wanted all those pyrotechnics going on yeah. obviously it like just like the, the Lamhe the end was really really fast and it caught me off. <laughs> like she answered the phone. He's like, he was in a plane crash. I'm like, oh, they killed him. They didn't. Uh, <laughs> which obviously that started the whole really ridiculous, uh, insane stuff going on Quick, at the get end. Get to the helicopter. Get, get to, the, to the chopper. It's still burning. Yes. Get to the chopper. Uh, Out of it, my way, I'm going to save him. And I don't know how far away they were from the, the crash. Maybe they it were. It was right five next door. minutes yeah, or whatever it, it was. Right over the hill. He was flying. He was going to land in the backyard. Uh, but they were able to get you know uh, police there, and and then he went into fuselage, and yeah. the guy was awake on the floor, and <laughs> of course he survived the crash. Uh, yeah, he survived the crash well, alone. Most people do. Um, but uh, that's the big Bollywood ending, and that's just like in Lamhe, it's big over the top. Happy, well, happy-ish, right? Ending, um, so he doesn't have to abandon. Because if if he did die, he'd be in the exact same situation with Rekha's character that he was with Jaya's character in the beginning. Yeah, and so that other guy had to survive. So, so and he for the happy ending. So, so, so I didn't, so, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't love the ending. And Amit goes from I've left with Chadni to start a new life, but. Her husband gets in a plane crash and my wife passes out. So now I found out she's with child and everything's okay. I love her. Very big Bollywood ending. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I've seen Bollywood endings that have far, far greater believability and justification I know, but that's, than that. That's like a in hot mess. Like in terms of like, you know, the film's going to end happy. And even if it's insanely uh, crazy, <laughs> which... This was insanely crazy. Uh, the ending, for sure. Um, it's just that's just how they end. I guess, yeah. yeah I, we, how many films of his have we seen? I don't know. Div, div, Four. Vir Zara, I think was, which is by far and away the. I disagree. Top of the top. I disagree. Um, but Vir Zara. If you say you like this better than Vir Zara, you are of. If it's even a close contest. It is. It is close. Um, but let's see. He directed... You're saying this movie is close to Virzara? In terms of overall quality? Yeah. I had problems with Virzara. I enjoyed Virzara, but I had problems with Virzara. Um, uh, no, he's was producer, producer, producer. He was Om Shanti Om. No. Uh, Fana producer. Let me just go to... to can I just... Isn't there a way you can separate, like, 
directing credits. Uh, I, I thought by profession. Could. Yeah, there you go. Director. Uh, Virsar Dar. Okay, so I've seen that one. You haven't seen that one. No. Uh, Lamhe. Chun- we haven't seen that one. Silsila. Devar. Yeah, he did direct Devar, which right. would be also be close to the top. Um, and that's also very different because that's that's not really a love story. No, that's not more, really. That's more of a mother brother situation going on. Okay. Um, that one, he's worked with Big B a lot. That's Big B. That's Big B. That's yeah. Big B. That's, that's Big what B. A, that's not a surprise. Um, yeah, he's he's worked with... Virzar was his... No. Jab Tak Hey Jan was his last directing. I believe he died when? Because he's not alive anymore. I know that. Yeah. I don't know the year he passed. 90. Oh. Wait. He's not alive, is he? I thought he just passed away. Am I wrong? Is he still around? Forgive us if we're... I, I, I thought he's... He had oh, a no. long life, but he passed away. And it says uh, 2012, October 2012. And passed away at 90. Yeah, passed okay. away at 90. Okay. Got it. Long life there. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, it seems like he's had quite the... And I think a lot of his films, even if you don't agree with this one, I think have a, a, a particular good quality about them in terms of it's and also like a difference like devar is pretty oh, different very for the different. time true lam hey uh, it's a very different kind of love story mm-hmm. for sure yeah they're very different uh this one obviously it's had a very controversial uh kind of love triangle uh Vier zara i don't know if that one was different per se yeah i think it is i think it's a standalone yeah yeah, I, um, I just I love that movie. Dar, it's another SRK film. I won't give into that one, but yeah, it seems like um, he likes to do. Even though he is in the big Bollywood mold of of certain things that he does in his films, I think he likes to do a lot of stuff pretty differently, uh, especially for the time of when he was a director. And I know he's a big producer as well, and his son is a big director. Yeah. Oh, well. of course. Yes. So, question, did, do, other than the ending, did you have any problems with the story? Um, there was some stuff that um, just like um, I kind of gave grace for the time of like, lights go out, hits a kid with a car, yeah, I'm going like 10 miles an hour. And then on that dark, secluded suburban road, oh, there's a huge crowd of people that just happen to be standing yeah. by. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and, yeah, the, yeah. and the fact the fact that the doctor treating Jaya just happens to be married to Chadney and the fact that... That just the, gives a good drama. It's I know. Bollywood. And, and the fact that the cop investigating just happens to be yeah. her cousin, yep. but didn't know who Amitabh Bachchan was, even though he became the family's... I mean, by marriage, she became related to him. He didn't know who he was either. But they live so close that he could actually be the cop investigating. He might not have seen him before. Maybe, yeah. He's not a, once again, he's a writer. It's not like. <laughs> no, no, but he's he's related by marriage now. Yeah, well, you probably knew him by name, but not by face of. Um, no, sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I give a little more grace to these films than you do sometimes <laughs> i don't i don't understand why you do <laughs> because that's what they they're not trying to be anything other than what they are that's their the, their point of them is to be an indian big bollywood film they're not trying to be this believable grounded west film I'm not, I'm that's, not, that's that's one of the beauties of of bo- big bollywood old school bollywood films so why is my critique of it putting it in a box of the west no i'm sorry i'm saying the, the 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 examples that you just had of it, not not your problems with the the external affair. I'm saying the, what examples did I give that were Western? No, like the the unbelievable stuff that happens that right. they, they that's use not, that's, that they use for drama. Right. Yeah. 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 Sure, it's unbelievable, but it's it's just part of the drama. It's like it's just what it is. It's the the it's but the ending was too much. Yeah, that was where they drew the line for you. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. 
So I don't have a problem that that drew the line for you, but you have a problem that the other ones drew a line for me. Oh, no, you can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just giving you a rebuttal. No, I know. <laughs> but my, my, it, it, I've never believe, told you to like a film but, or not like a no, film. No, but for, you believe those are, it, as far as just the writing of it, it's, a, it's those things of unbelievability and just straining credulity mm-hmm. are permissible. But the ending was not. I mean, the ending is what it was. It's just, yeah, that was that was a lot for me. Yeah, because it was so different. I mean, you can give me a little stuff for the for the drama, but then when you're crashing a plane and yeah, having was... the only person survive is the person that you needed to survive, and <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> getting there by helicopter in in two minutes and it's still on fire, and yeah, that, yeah, that 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 was a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> let us know what you thought about the film, which we are next. Yash Chopra film and uh, next for Rekha, Jaya and Amitabh. What should be their next films? Uh, this was, I believe, the last Rekha film with Big B. If I read that correctly, this was the last time they ever collaborated. And I don't know what this would have been in the span of her career, because we know there was a point where she just stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, well, she didn't end because obviously... She was in. She had a couple things. No, she was in book. Yeah, we she saw had, it, which she was a, in the nineties. Yeah, uh, she she had a, a quite a career after this. Um, I think she had another one with him as well, but I can't remember who with Yash with Yash. And is it Yash or Yash? Everybody? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about this film and uh, which we are next one down below. Mm-hmm.